Lately, I've been really wanting a hooded workwear jacket. As you've probably all seen, the Carhartt is the holy grail when it comes to this category. We all saw ASAP Rocky step out in it in 2020 or 2021, I believe. And after that, it has been going crazy and I've been wanting one so much. But the new ones cost like 300 bucks. And when thrifting here in Oslo, the cheapest I could find was 200 bucks. So that's not happening. Since Carhartt wasn't an option, I started looking for other brands and I really like this Stussy one but they stopped making this exact color and this one is also 300 bucks so nah. But I recently got a new overlock machine and one of my goals for this year was actually to sew an entire outfit and I think I can actually make this jacket for around 50 bucks so let's do it. The only problem though is that the most advanced thing I've ever sewn actually the only thing I've ever sewn is, is these. They're just some really simple tuna nut bags. I followed the tutorial on YouTube. But those were super easy to make and I think this jacket is gonna be so much harder. Like the jacket, it's hard itself, but I'm gonna be lining it as well. Just as the Carhartt and Stussy jackets. So the first part of this project was sketching out all the pieces that I'm gonna need. I did this very roughly so I have an idea of how much fabric I'm gonna need. The next step is buying the fabric. So let's go. <laughs> the store was actually closed because of some aircon issues or something. So I just ordered everything I needed online and here's what I got. Firstly, the main fabric is this cotton canvas in a dusty green, I believe they called it. Secondly, the lining. It's a quilt lining and this will help make the jacket a little bit warmer. Next, of course, I'm gonna need some thread, so I bought a matching thread. Moving on, a YKK zipper that almost matches, they didn't have the exact same color but I think it will be just fine. And then for the cuffs, since I wanted stretchy cuffs, I bought some stretchy band. This is 30 millimeter uh, wide. I'm also gonna be adding hoodie strings, so I bought some eyelets. I've never used this before, so we'll see how that goes. And for the hoodie string itself, I bought some rope. Altogether, this cost me around 50-60 bucks. So overall, not bad at all considering I'll have the rest of this stuff for other projects. So yeah, let's try to put this <laughs> together. So here's the progress so far. It might actually be a little too short, I think. So I might have to undo this bottom stretchy part and figure something out, maybe sew in an extra piece with the stretchy part or just don't have any stretch to it at all. But I'm gonna figure that out after I sew on the hood. So 
Let's go. Now it's zipper time. I can hear your voice. <laughs> oh my God. Now I'm just gonna add hoodie strings and a logo and do the lining. The hand embroidery thing didn't work out, so <laughs> let's do the lining. Alrighty, the jacket is done. I did the lining, as you can see. It's not perfect, it has some flaws of hair and stuff, but I can't be honest, I'm, I'm so over this jacket now. It's so, I've worked on it for too many hours now, so I need to move on with my life. Also, I didn't attach the hoodie ropes. Because I should have put the metal rings before I folded the hood in and attached it. So I guess I'll just use that for another project. But yeah. This is the final product. The hood is way too big as well, but I think it looks kind of cool. I probably broke every sewing rule there is <laughs> so if anyone of you are good at sewing have done this for a while please let me know in the comments what I should have done differently but either way I learned a ton by making this jacket and I'm definitely gonna be making more garments in the future that's for sure and the most important thing I've learned is that I gotta plan out things more. Because stuff like this, that can happen when I'm 
actually trying to make something that's really good that I can wear or something I'm giving away for a friend or something like that then it actually has to be proper and really thought out but yeah it was really fun to make this jacket and if you enjoyed the video as well and would like to see more fashion content in the future hit the subscribe button and yeah bye